All right. Yay! Hello, everybody. Welcome to Color All the Things with me, Melissa. How are you? It's been too long. I keep meaning to record, and then I'm like, oh, I've got to do it, and I go to sit, and then something happens. Uh, either I've been sitting too long, and my ankles are swollen, or um, work pops up, kids, you know, you know the drill. But, um, if you've been following me on Instagram, and if you're not, the link is down below, um, you noticed that I finished the very first page out of Fairy Miracles, um, the opening page. I don't know if you can tell, but there's some shiny stuff. No, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do it, is it? Oh well. It's mostly for me. So there's shiny stuff here. There's I did maze like glitter stuff, so the faux glitter I did on her wings. And so I did the background and pan pastels. And just this was I needed something mindless to do. And this was mindless and I had no structure. Um I had no uh thought as to what I was going to do. I just kind of went and did it and it turned out, I think, kind of cute. I have uh, Mr. Mousy and Mrs. Mousy. I gave her little eyelashes. Um, so that was really fun. Uh, and for those that followed the last time, I did some more work in the uh, page for Ivy and Inky Butterfly. Um, I, I got uh, the Jelly Roll glaze pens that leave this kind of like upraised. You you can feel it. So I used the black down here and I used the blue on the the stuff here. I did the background in colored pencil or in a watercolor pencil and then I went back over it with regular uh, colored pencil. I'm kind of at a stuck point right now because I don't know what color I want these to be. I don't know what color I want the um, the frame to be. So I'm kind of at a stuck point right now. I'll, I'll work on it some more. But for right now, I'm kind of just taking a chill, taking a break, uh, and relaxing from this page so I don't get too stressed over it. Um... I didn't realize I did the purple. How cool. I did it exactly the same. I didn't even mean to. But so now, um, ignore my, this is my test over here. <laughs> ignore my test. I, uh, I watched somebody take these, um, makeup brushes. So these are just makeup brushes. And use them to do distress ink. I mean, these these were cheap, six dollar. I got like five of them, so I got like you know the really really big one, and then it just kind of goes down from there. Um, but I think these three would be most useful to me, whereas the big ones not so much, unless I have like a super big area I want to do something with. But they're like a, a faux. They're so soft. They're super soft. Um, they're just like a, a faux, I can't think, bristle thing. So, I have these. I thought I'd give them a go. I chose the wrong color because, um, broken china or whatever, sapphire or whatever, um, really dark and did not work out too well. And I am... We're in something like mandatory overtime for work. And I just don't, I'm going to zoom you in here, so bear with me. I just don't care at the moment. I'll work down in here. Um, I just don't care at the moment to really work, so I'm taking an hour break. I'm going to end up with overtime. And, uh, 
sorry, I have my work computer up over here and they're sending messages back and forth and that was really um, distracting. I do have to pay attention to the uh, work chat in case anybody has any questions. But other than that, I'm off the clock. So I've been I've been dying to use my favorite castells. I've my polychromos. I have not used them, and I don't even know how long. And just you know, you get, you get where you like ooh this ooh this, and it's all shiny, and you know, take your mind off, and you know, oh that looks cool, oh that looks cool, and then you start going like squirrel, and then next thing you know, you haven't used your favorite pencils in months. And so this is me going back into my polychromos and just enjoying the process of coloring with them because they are super fun. Um, I don't know if you can tell from what I've done here so far. Um, I'm trying to keep a, a somewhat natural highlight. I don't know if you can see the little slivers of white. Um, Lord have mercy. Now my husband's sending me pictures of his lunch. Enjoy. <sighs> I tell you, I can't get... But anyway, so I've been using the polychromos white to kind of like maintain a lighter area. I don't necessarily want like the bright white highlight, but I do want it lighter. Um, I don't know if you can tell on that. But I enjoy that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hang out in this little corner here and just do these leaves and relax and enjoy the process and hopefully you enjoy the process. Um, just so you know what I'm using, I have the Chrome Oxide Green. These are my baby pencils, my babies. My Earth Green Yellowish. And this is May Green. Um, it is probably only this big. Uh, so that's why he's in here, but this is May Green. I have sepia, dark sepia for some shadows. I have my white for maintaining some highlights. And then I have my little uh, 2.3 Mono Zero Tombow Eraser um, for getting those little, little mistakes. Happy little accident. Um, I was doing these itty bitty little leaves off to the side. This one looks more like thorns, but I'm coloring it like leaves and, you know, whatevs. So how is everybody? I hope everybody's doing well. I have something of a toothache right now. Nothing's touching it. It's one of those toothaches where it just... I'm getting it taken care of. It's just not done yet. And... I can't get in until August, so right now I'm just kind of dealing with it. I have a permanent frowny face. Because, <laughs> you know, it just pulls the side of your face down when you have a toothache. I haven't decided what all I'm going to do. I do want to do this like a, a robin's egg. Maybe make this a robin baby, so I'll have to look that up. I was initially thinking, so I'm going to take the chrome oxide green. I was initially thinking on making it a, uh, chicken chick. But now I think I might just make a robin. Robin baby. So I would love to do, like, robin's egg blue on this. Look, there's an itty bitty little heart in here that I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to color red. Uh, just for that little pop. Like a little surprise. Or maybe pink. Maybe a soft color instead of a harsher color. Um, this is currently going to be the third picture in this book I've ever colored. Um, I colored one a while ago that was a Christmassy type scene. And... It turned out nice, and I liked it, and it was fun. I'd used Lyra pencils. Um, but 
for some reason this little book I'm just going through my colors so the dark is the chrome oxide the medium color is the uh, earth green yellowish this lighter color or this guy is the may green um, I'm not very good at telling you when I switch because I switch often um, but just know those are the colors I'll be going between and then this is the sepia what was I saying oh for whatever reason I decided to do I was gonna do this in polychromos and then I picked up the prismas for whatever reason here I, I just I stinking and en enjoyed the heck out of that and I have to say that sometimes the coloring without too much rhyme or reason is some of the most enjoyable time that I have. Oh, and just so I get this out of the way, I'm going to be talking and coloring if I'm talking too much. Tough cookies. I don't know what, I'll, you know, I, I label this color in chat. I've had one person consistently and at, at least in two or three color and chats now say that I am talking too much and not coloring enough. I'm not entirely sure what is expected from something labeled color and chat. Um, but here's your warning. Feel free to find somebody else. I will say Chris Chang does not chat. Julia's passion for coloring does not chat. DK Design does not chat. Who else do I follow that doesn't really chat? I know you become a Patreon of uh, Belinda and her uh, Patreon videos have very little talking, if that's your thing. Not, nothing really beyond, so I'm going to go to the sepia, nothing really beyond what it takes to color the picture, which is fine. I'm, I'm not knocking you, Belinda, on Patreon. I love you. Um, but yeah, there's your warning. I don't know what to tell you. Otherwise, like, for reals, it says, it says in the title, color and chat. So, there you go. Hi, kitty kitty. That's right. I wanted to take the darker green. I like doing a little flick of some darker green at the tips here. I did my own nails, I have to say. I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased with I did the dip nail stuff. So like not perfect, but uh pretty pleased. Like that's not perfect at all. But whatever. It was my friend let me borrow hers uh, to see if I liked it. And I do. So I may have to buy my own dip nail set thing. Oh, I need to switch over to May Green. For whatever reason, my cat has got something. That's the wheel, honey. That's the wheel to my thing. Leave it alone. For some reason, she's like, something's in here. Nope, that's the wheel. Oh my goodness, so much stuff. The bad part of working from home is you just cat hair first of all and then you just have so many wires and things and stuff so many what do you have she's got some what is it it's got a cat to something that's your favorite isn't it
<sighs> oh, sorry about that. If I hadn't have gotten that, she'd have just been knocking the heck out of my uh, table, my desk. There we go. Sorry about that. Alright, where was I? What was I doing? Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna, I just need to relax, you know. I've had a headache that won't go away for, I think I'm nearing a week now. It's like a migraine type thing. Not quite bad enough to have me, you know, crying in a corner, but not going away. Not with medicine, not with sleep, not with an ice pack, not with a heating pad, not in a box, not with socks. The kids are yelling, and I'm not entirely sure that I'm going to do anything about it. Uh, so the little sticks that these leaves are on, I'm actually taking my chrome oxide green and flicking it down. Just to tinge the twigs green. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to color them. Yeah. I am going to color them like twigs, uh, whether or not they are whatevs. Let's see. I've got no real light source that I'm working with currently. Um, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of using uh, what Clara Markova has given us as far as the, the shadows and, and lights and darks and stuff, so I'm kind of working with that. The, the stippling that she does. It's just not in my nature to really go against that. I'm not the type to go against the flow, you know. Not that flow, at least. Also, I need the, uh, excuse me, I've had the burps for like a week now, too. I'm just all sorts of messed up. Ugh. You ever get those weeks where it's just like, oh my god, it's nothing... Nothing going right. Like, body's not going right, mind's not going right, work, life, everything. We've just been bombarded with work. And it's like, it would be really nice if you, you know, some people would work some overtime with the uh, threat of making it mandatory soon. I don't know if that's really a threat, but I am, I'm, I've never been the one to really like, yay, let's do overtime. Um, I, I like having my me time, but I'm also going on vacation soon to Hilton Head, and so I kind of need some money because I have to buy new tires for my car.
Oh, I'm gonna have to pause you guys, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. I had to answer a question. I had given a answer to another question and then they were like, well, according to, because I work with the lawyers and lawyers got a lawyer and that's fine. Just sometimes... They, they really like lawyering. And it's sometimes just like, really just do it, please. Please just do it. Please. Also, if they search the chat, they might find the answer to their question in a previous question. No, we can't do that. Sorry, I am not going to bitch anymore. <laughs> That's such a lie. <laughs> Uh, oh, and fun happy news. I got a new fountain pen. I have a Visconti Breeze. Isn't it pretty? It's all like shiny and purpley. Look at that. It's so purpley. And shiny. Like, you can't see it, but it's really like a... It's got a little flex of shine in there. So I got a new fountain pen. I like the uh, magnetic cap. Too many of them are twist off and that's really difficult at work. Uh, but I got a bold, or a broad, a broad nib. Super happy and it's all purple. So much purple. Take the chrome oxide green and do this. I knew it was going to be difficult to try and do a little um, bit of coloring during the work day. Like I knew that was going to be difficult. It doesn't take a rocket scientist. Maybe it does. Maybe that's my problem. I'm not a rocket scientist. Um, I thought maybe I could get some stuff done, get a video in. While also, like, in the middle of the day, and then go back to work. But if you can't tell, I'm not actually stopping work. <laughs> God damn it. Rabble, rabble, rabble. I should stop working. That's a thing that should happen. I need that. I need that break. I was going to work last night, but I was finally, I was like, no. I have to stop. I'm going cross-eyed. I can't think straight. Everything's blurring together. So, I had to stop. I had a whole lot go on. I did. I let Kaylee be kind of a, a big girl yesterday. Do a big girl thing. Um, her friend had her over yesterday. But her friend lives, I want to say she lives like a quarter mile, maybe, from the house. Um, so, not very far, but, you know, really kind of far for an eight-year-old, almost nine-year-old. 
you know, she had to remember how far to go down, and she had to remember it was past the pool, and, you know, stuff like that. So I walked her, just a house and something before the pool is the Greenway entrance. So I walked her to the Greenway entrance, and then there was another, it was another three blocks. Um, or three streets, I should say, three cul-de-sacs, uh, before she got to her friend's house. And I let her finish walking that all by herself. I was a proud mama. She got there just fine. She was happy. Had, uh, had her friend's mom text me when she got there, that she got there okay. I was gonna, I was gonna let her go all the way by herself, but when we got home from the store, there was this wailing, and just somebody screaming their head off, and I couldn't tell what it was, but it was one of those screams where, like, it made you uncomfortable to listen to. Um, and I was, I was seriously contemplating, like, is that somebody yelling for help? Uh, it almost had, like, an anguish to it, so I was, I actually thought, uh, one of the neighbors down the street, who I don't know very well, I've only seen once or twice, um, the last I saw her, I thought she was pregnant. Uh, I could be wrong, but, um, like, it was one of those anguish screams like I felt like maybe she had lost her kid you know and I it was just this gut-wrenching scream and I felt I felt very uncomfortable letting Kaylee walk uh walk to her friend's house while this screaming was going on I couldn't quite tell like I knew it was on my street but I couldn't quite tell like where it was coming from because it was echoing and bouncing off the houses and you know how that stuff goes um so i finally go out to walker it's my neighbor's kid he was screaming he's probably he'll be in kindergarten next year since so five he was just screaming bloody murder in his grandma's car yelling at his mom that he just wants to stay like he was going to his grandma's for the weekend but like he just wants to spend more time with his mom and he's just it's this heart wrenching you know gut wrenching scream coming from this kid I've never seen him have separation anxiety like that like I know he has anxiety uh um I know when I made the mistake of asking him if he's excited for kindergarten and I, that accidentally set him off and I didn't realize that was a, a trigger thing for him until his mom told me, I was like, oh, <laughs> my bad. Um, so, and, and I'm, I really don't know how to deal with, with kids like with that type of separation or anxiety or, or, or anything like that, but gosh, I felt so bad eventually, you know, she got him to calm down and whatnot, but, man, I, it was so, it was such a sad thing. It was such a sad thing to, to just hear him just wail like that. I know she used to be a preschool teacher, you know, so she's got all of that schooling and she knows he has anxiety and, and, and whatnot. And then another neighbor of ours is actually uh, not really counseling him, but she is a child counselor. And so, like, every now and then they would talk at the uh, bus stop and be like, so, <laughs> she's like, yeah, I'll give you some materials on, on this and that. So, you know, she's trying to help him, but gosh, yesterday, yesterday was so sad. It was so, so sad. I 
I know I want to do these flowers up here, like sunflowers. I'm thinking. Oh. And a robin's egg. I don't even know what they're doing up there. They're in the game room. They sound like they're having fun, so I'm just going to leave them to it. I mean, at least the, uh, the noises don't sound like cries or anything, so, you know, that's a plus. Didn't get the kitty cats a new toy. One of those things where the the mouse is on the inside and they just push it around. I'm still in frame. Woohoo. Woo freaking who. Every now and then I think about just recording myself coloring and I don't know how to edit so it usually goes out the window. I don't have any of those fancy uh, color cards to like lay down. So you know what color I'm coloring with. And I flip back and forth so fast so much and really have all the problems. Also, I'm really slow. I'm a really slow colorist. I'm okay with it, but I can only imagine how much time it would take to edit I'm just getting through like the leaves or whatever, you know? I think I'm in your light. I'm sorry. That was just a more comfortable angle. Now I'm getting, like, piercing. Piercing pain through my head. Yay! It's one of those eye strain things, I know it. I've been looking at a computer screen for too long. And I need new glasses, so I know what the issue is. I just not been able to get it get it fixed. And then that I feel very overwhelmed with all the stuff that needs done. Like I need a dental appointment, Kaylee needs to go get her eyes checked again, which I've made the appointment so that's done, but like waiting for them now is like ridiculous. And then Zoe's got some uh, birthday parties coming up and Really? And then Dave wants to go to the beach all the time. And I'm just... Because not only am I, am I working, I'm also taking care of the kids. Like, that is still a thing that has to happen. 
It's not easy. And then he's like, oh, let's go to the beach. I don't want to. I want to just sit here and do jack all for a day. I need to explain to him how not fun it is working from home and having to deal with the kids and not just having to deal with my kids um, sometimes I have to deal with other people's kids because you know we're playing past the children around the neighborhood with the other parents who also work from home because it's not easy and I like my kids I'm one of those I like my kids I know my kids I understand my kids I know their quirks I know what they're gonna do I know what they're gonna say I know how they're gonna react to certain situations most of the time other people's kids not even a little bit some of them are nice and I like them and they're cool and they can come hang out, but Lord have mercy, there's like one or two where I'm just, please no, just please no. It's not that they're bad, they're just, my kids and some of the other kids, I can say, hey, I'm, I'm working, I can't, like I can't just stop what I'm doing and, and come to you and, and whatever. Like, you're eight years old. Figure it out. But they're constantly like, hey, can I do this? I'm like, I don't know what this is. What is this? Hey, can I have this? I don't know what this is. Also, why are you hungry all the time? I know your mother feeds you. Maybe it's just the one girl. <laughs> Maybe it's just the one I have an issue with. Oh, I love my kids, though. Oh, I get a stretch. Oh, big stretch. Let's see. There's another set. Leaves down here. Another set over that way. But let's do these. And then we'll see... Where we're at, about a half hour, about a half hour, and I'm already ready to take a nap. What? Ooh, these are stippled differently. Interesting. I'll have to see what to do about that. I have stopped putting a page behind my pages anymore. I don't know why I stopped doing that. I just did. Pull down a little of the earth green. And I don't press hard, so I mean, there's no real. It's not like I'm gonna indent the page behind it. This page feels slightly different than this. Oh no, that's my hand. Oh, give me just a second. Oh, nuances. How oh, I hate thee. ever get the urge to just be like because I said so I know I do it to my kids but I don't do it at work very often I think that's a poor reasoning I should have some reason but currently I really feel like saying because I said so please don't tell me 
<sighs> I mean, that's a valid thing, right? Because I said so. Oh, I'm just being nitpicky. I know it. I know it. It's been... It's been a rough... week. Two weeks. I've been in charge of this project. And, uh... Yeah, I can... I just got an influx of people yesterday that came off of a different project. And it always comes with its own set of questions because nobody can search in the chat for reasons. And then sometimes what your search, the search terms you're using aren't actually the, the terms that were spoken of and so, you know, whatever. But I'm just bitching a bitch at this point. Ignore me, I'm sorry. So coloring, yay! <laughs> uh, I'm really looking forward to the new, uh, is it Soulmates? I've seen some pretty stuff on, uh, on Instagram for the new Hannah Carlson book, and I'm really excited for it, but I won't get here until, like, August. Um... So, which is a bummer, but what do you do? You know, let's actually do this. going to make that all dark back there. with fire so I made this thing called ravioli florentine yesterday I get what they were trying to do with the recipe I, I do I get it I understand um, failed miserably <laughs> I, I know it wasn't just me because I followed the recipe exactly and But basically it was like lasagna but with ravioli. So it was like a layer of sauce, a layer of frozen ravioli, spinach, mozzarella, ravioli, sauce, blah, 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 blah. But it had you put in the ravioli frozen. And I'm like, that's weird. But that's what the recipe calls for, so that's what I'm going to do. And so I did it. And then, of course, the ravioli turns out really chewy. It didn't get boiled. It just basically cooked in its own uh, whatever and had all that starch and so it just makes it really chewy. I do not like it. Do not recommend. Um, so if I ever make that again I'll have to remember to cook the ravioli first. That would also reduce the cook time in the pan and, and all of that but really I thought it was very weird. It didn't say like Cook the ravioli as per directions on the box, which is what it usually says when, when it wants you to, you know, cook something first. So, you know, it just said, place frozen ravioli. I'm just like, okay, if you say so. I give the recipe a try. Try not to tweak it uh, too much because I do... I do want to give, like, the benefit of the doubt that, you know, these people came up with a recipe. Obviously, they know what they're doing, right? Wrong. Wrong. Oh, let's 
see. I have got too much stuff on my desk. You move. Ignore the blue. I feel very bad about all that blue, but I should not have done it right here. Oh well. And then the green was the, uh, there went pro color. I did not like the way that felt on this paper at all. I hear the pitter-patter of little feet. But now that pitter-patter is gone, I'm not sure where it went. Yes, Kaylee? What are you looking for? I'm just bored. You're just bored? You could go earn that uh, thing by cleaning up more of your room. Doing some extra cleaning in your room. In your bathroom. No? no? Okay. She wants me to buy her a Minecraft world, but I won't buy it without her earning it. Oh my goodness. I'm almost done with these little green ones. I don't know. Oh, there's one more down, down this way. I don't know what I want to do after this, I think. Maybe I'll do the robin's egg. Let me see. Let me see what a robin's egg looks like. Google robin's egg. Apparently they can be... Oh, that's a... That's an egg collection. Come on. There we go. Oh, it's kind of got like a goldish color to it. I like the darker ones. There's a greeny blue one down there. Let's see, what colors can I pull up here? Let me zoom out. So, Robin's Egg Blue. Now we can go with one of these darker ones around here. Like this one. With these back here, not that light one. So, bluish turquoise. Maybe a cobalt blue. I do want to bring in the light cobalt turquoise. And 
maybe even a touch of cobalt green. Helio blue reddish. I don't want to do the thalos. Ooh, cobalt blue greenish. Yes, cobalt blue greenish. Bluish turquoise. And then light cobalt turquoise. Those will be my three colors. My robin's eggs. And then I'll work on the inside doing like a goldish color. So definitely ivory. Maybe the cream. And some of this stuff down in here. The terracotta. Not the terracotta. Well, maybe terracotta. The burnt ochre, these ochre colors. We'll grab some of those. Not right now. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry if you can hear me, like, gurgle burping. It's disgusting. So, let's work on some robin's egg, man. Enough with the, enough with the green. Let's do something colorful for a minute. Ten minutes. So, Cobalt Blue Greenish. You can tell I've never used this pencil. <laughs> My hair is everywhere. So I'm going to take the Cobalt um, Blue Greenish on the edges where it's darker. But I'm also going to do like splotches of it around some of these goldy splashes um, because that's what it looks like in the picture. Organic shapes. Mm, there seems to be something of a printer error here. Just a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing, just kind of come out of the sides a little organically. Organically. Make it organic. I'm not going for realism per se. I am going for a bit of recognizability, I suppose. I'm kind of giving up on realism. I'm realizing. Ha ha, ha 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 ha. That I am not a very realistic colorist. And that is okay. I don't have to be. The world will not stop if I don't color realistically. Maybe one day, but today is not that day. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with the Cobalt Turquoise. It's going to give it a greener tone. I'm not really going to 
color over so much is I'm just going to try to blend it a little bit. I'm going to make sure I don't get logged off here. That would be bad. There we go. adding to the areas. I forgot to come down here. Alright, I'm going to take the um, light cobalt turquoise kind of just go over everything and try to blend all that in so I don't want harsh lines eggs don't have harsh lines eggs are egg shaped Man, I forgot how much I liked my polychromos. Sometimes you don't know how much you've missed something until you go back to it. It's actually turning out way better than I had thought. I'm going to have to get a darker blue though. I'm keeping the uh, circle motion going. And the cats are off. Apparently playtime has begun. So what darker blue do I want? Maybe helio blue reddish? Oh, Prussian, Prussian, Prussian. Like some Prussian. Prussian blue. Just around these edges. Thank you. 
Keep it going in circles. I'm pull it in for a little bit of darkening in some spots. If you made it this far, thanks for making it through all of those green, green leaves. This is your reward. A pretty blue egg. I am so sorry. I don't know why. I haven't drank any soda today. I've actually not drank any soda in two days because of this. I just don't understand what's going on in my body right now. I'm going to go back to the cobalt blue. Blue greenish. I'm sorry. I'll try to smooth out some of this transition between the blue and the turquoise-y color, the lighter turquoise. I don't mind having a little bit of a, a line, but I don't want it to be harsh. You know. So that's that's how I'm gonna go with that. I hear the pitter patter of little feet coming, so I'm sure something interesting will be coming ahead. Um, I will be posting little updates to this on my Instagram, so feel free to follow down below. I'll have the links to everything uh, down below. Those are affiliate links, just so you know. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.